In this session, we'll show you how to use the production input journal to receive items from a production order using the mobile WMS solution for Dynamics AX. This case deals with a relatively simple process that can be used to register items in the warehouse after they are finished. The production input journal refers to the production that produces the items, and on the lines it can be specified which number has been produced, and which is therefore transferred to the end location. The goods are registered as registered, and only at the status report as finished they are marked as received, and are thus physically present in the warehouse. First we have to make some preparations and setups. Go to the mobile WMS menu, and here click on parameters, and down here we can see that we have to ensure that the production input journal is visible. And we do that by enabling this field here. If we have made some overrides, as in this case for example for warehouse 22, we have to make sure that show production input is enabled here. Ok, then I'll go to the production part of the system. production controls, and production orders. And we have this order here, P000192, with the status started, and with the quantity of 5, and with the remaining status, report as finished. Then I'll go to the inventory management, and select the production input journal. I'll create a new, And in the default value, I have to put in the production order 192 with the site 2 and warehouse 22. Then click on functions and create lines. And make sure here that initialize quantity is enabled. So now the system creates a line referring to the line 192, site 2 and warehouse 22 and with the quantity of 5. If I don't need to receive them all, or I just want to receive for example 3, I can just change the quantity of this line. So now I'll have to close this window, because otherwise it will block me from using the mobile device if I still have the journal open. So then I'll go to the mobile device and select receive. And on the mobile device here you can see the order 192. Press this and you can see the item number tf underscore 0020 and that 0 out of 5 has been received. I select this, I confirm the quantity and now the system asks me if I will post the order. Here I'll click yes and enter the packing slip number manually and now it has been posted successfully. So, the order list here is now empty. If I go back to my journal in the AX client, I can see that it has disappeared from the open list. I can see it in the posted list with number 67 and the lines with the quantity of 5. So, if I go back to my production order and have a look, you can see that the line 192 still says report as finished. The only thing I've done is the updated quantity to 5 and that means that the order is ready to be finished. So, I will click on report as finished. and now I can end the production order. I'll click close here, and as you can see, the remain status has changed to end it. And to finally end the order, I will click on end and end the order. So, what I have done is that I have put a number from the production order on stock, and then later manually updated the production order with the status report as finished, and then the end status. This was how to use the production input journal to receive items from a production order using the mobile WMS solution for Dynamics AX.